Hi YouTube, Troy at the full setup here and I'm back with another video. I've already done one today and that was the unboxing of the Cryo Rig M9. Don't worry, I've just put loads of other crap in here, that's why it's shaking about everywhere. But yeah, the Cryo Rig M9 um, CPU cooler, um, unboxing and install, so please go over the channel to the channel and have a look if you haven't watched it. But there was one thing I didn't like about it. When I purchased this, I was going to spray it white anyway. I was going to spray the top of this white because I'm two black fans either side, white and black case, got some white RAM, just sort of creating a bit of zen in there with the colouring scheme. But I thought all I was going to have to do is take that top off and spray it white, which was fine. Um, but then I looked at it and you can't really see in here and you'll see that in the video. There's basically like the, um, still showing some of the heat sink. This doesn't cover, the plastic bit doesn't cover all the area. So then I had to think quickly, because it's my day off today and I, want to I don't want to do anything when I get back from work tomorrow, was um, how can I spray the top of a CPU cooler without spraying anything else. You know, all these little fins, all these bits of metal, how can I just give a nice edge on it? Um, and it's really easy, really simple. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it and I hope it helps you out. And if you like these videos, any um, sort of the modding that I'm doing or just looking at all the PC parts, please go over to my channel, have a look and check out that as well. So we need to get some views on that, anyone up today? Ooh, what's in it? Um, it's a handgun, no it's not. So we wanna paint the top of this without getting all this covered in paint. We don't want to paint the whole thing. We don't want little bits of spatter. We just want to paint the top. So what we're going to need is, I did try some masking tape, cheap masking tape. It's not really going to work. It's not going to stick to it. So I'm going to go back to my old trusty method. The sticky stuff of this roll of tape that just seems to last forever. It's been loads of videos of surf tape. And I'm just going to peel some bits off. I'm going to start by going all the way around it. Well, it's got a nice bit stuck, so you're all the way around. And what you want to do is just cut some more strips, and then just if you can, it's just going to vary, and just slide some in there like that. See, slide it in, cut it off, and there we go. So it's only going to be this top fin that's getting painted. So here I am, all taped up, ready to go. What about all this space? What about that? Isn't that going to get paint on it? Yeah, it's going to get paint on it. So what I'm going to do is put it in a plastic bag. And then take that round there. I'm ready to spray as well. So I'm just going to start with some primer, show you that in a second, and then do the final coat. And if you do want to know anything about painting and stuff, I have done loads of uh, videos on how to paint a PC. So please go to the channel, subscribe, and have a look. I've just finished the first couple of coats of primer. It's a white primer, and I'm really happy with it. Apologies for even more fan noise than there normally is. The computer is rendering at the moment, so it's rather noisy. Um, you can see. Looks very nice, and you could just get away with using a white primer. I've also done the top as well for anyone that's not that wants to see how to do the cryo rig one, not just um, about spraying the top. Um, I recommend now I'm going to do a final coat in satin white, and I'm going to do the underneath first, really, on that side. And also as well for anyone watching the case build, I talked about my motherboard unboxing. I'm also going to do the rear I/O shield in satin white as well. Here is the satin white. So I'm going to give that a couple of coats, and then I'm going to show you it all finished. And here it is all with the top on, which I'm really happy about. So you can see, anyone, um, please go over and watch the video of this. This is what I was saying. The reason for the top, obviously I wanted to show you how to spray paint the top today, is that was silver. And this plastic bit, because I'm putting another fan on this, um, which has now disappeared. Um, I'm putting two fans on it on a push-pull setup. And with that being silver, it just stood out like a sore thumb. So overall, really happy with it. Just annoyed that I've got to wait a few more weeks for the CPU to come out that I want. But there you go. If you want to know how to spray paint on top of your CPU cooler, it's pretty much that easy.